into the Omaha zone. Here comes Griffin Lucky. He'll move it left circle for Tanner. Tanner coming ahead. Left wing for Lansdale, the offensive end. Mueller sets up shot for Griffin Lucky. Right side wall, Miller. Mueller with it here. Griffin Lucky, left circle for Tanner. His shot, score! Tanner Lucky off the deflection from Marion in Omaha. He used the power play to go up 1-0. Tanner Lucky gets that puck. Omaha moving it around quickly. Just like Davey Nolbert, the associate head coach in charge of that power play, would draw it up, make some quick passes. And Lucky on the wide wing left side as a fish comes on the ice here at Max Arena. Snaps that one home with a beautiful wrist shot. The right-handed shot, that puck uh, changing directions as it went forward into the back of the net on the short side. Glove hand side of the right hand catching Matt Davis, like almost Simon Light Cozy. The UNO chant rings out here with this big crowd of back three and Omaha off to the one nothing lead. Here's we get a look at that nice rich shot. Good position. Miller was off to the CM and it's out of the neutral zone. Bueller using his strength against a good size Z Buiam there at the right point. Here's Rizzo setting up shop. Moved it far circle for Devine. A shot and a score. Wow. What a laser beam by the nation's leading goal scorer, and we're tied at one. Finally got the puck to the man they want on this power play unit for Denver, Jack Devine on the off wing. And uh, this Denver team can particularly shoot that puck hard. When they get it on the net, there's a chance it's going in, especially that guy who's on your NCHC TV screen, Jack Devine. As uh, his huge weekend continues, this huge season continues as he snaps that one home. Here we'll get a good look at it from the end zone. Wow, blocker side challenging Simon Lad Cozy, glove side. Again, to the circle for Lurie. His shot is dead, and Harris races to the neutral area. It's a two on one. Here comes Harris, right way to the circle, a shot and a score. Denver leads. Two on one, Tristan Lemire uh, came barreling down the left wing and Sam Harris was able to, like a quarterback, a look off of him like he was a receiver and Harris, a left-handed shot on the off wing so that puck and the blade of Sam Harris' stick, you see him on NCC TV, that's a little closer to the ice and can be tricky for a goaltender. You saw Lemire for Denver 29 go by, but Harris finished that one 2-1 Denver. Low to the circle, throws with it, wrapped it back around to the right wing boards. Barons, blue line Thompson, plenty of space for him and a pad stopped by Lacozzi. Throws on the recovery, Barons with it out high, now to the circle Rizzo. Middle of the rink is open, Z Booyam, drop off pass and a score. A power play goal for Denver. Shy Booyam connects there. Massimo Rizzo had that puck. He went down the middle into the slot area and he quickly knew what he wanted to do. Get it to Z Booyam at 6'2", 180, the freshman out of San Diego. On that particular uh, unit, Denver wants that puck uh, going towards him for the one-timer, as we'll see it on NCHC TV. As there's the setup at Buey on the one timer. Right, Denver sent to center ice. Here comes Jimmy Glynn, though. Getting it back at the offensive end. Lost control of the puck. And now the Pioneers scoot forward. Shy Booyam fanning the left wing circle. Now low to the corner. Booyam centering pass, a shot and a score. And it's 4 1 Capone with a goal. Capone off the fourth line gets in the slot area. And Shy Booyam. Uh, the player of the game uh, now for Denver to this point as he has a goal and an assist going in deep. And Shai Bowie of 6-4, Omaha collapsing around to protect in front of that net. Bowie was headed to the end zone, as we'll see on NCHC TV, but was able to find Connor Capone, right-handed shot, who pushed it by. As uh, there's the Denver defenseman. And a quarter Denver with the 4-1 lead continuing here. Faceoff is tied up. See, Williams steps down the wall with a puck low circle. His shot score. Wow, what a goal. Denver, and I was just going to make this point, number one, 
the Bouillon brothers have now taken this game over. They have really activated offensively. Earlier, well, Shai Bouillon has, has a goal on a power play. And a couple shifts ago, he was going right down Dodge Street to the net front from his defense position. And here's Zeeb, his brother, coming in off the left wing. And a goal for Lurie, who wraps the puck in deep. Headed towards one minute to go in the second. Turnover. Glenn, right wing circle, a shot blocked. Ooh, that hurt. Glenn with it. Goal line extended right. Peels back up the boards. A one timer in. Sadie Scar! Jack Randall with the deflection. And Omaha gets the goal late in the second. Mavericks taking advantage of a turnover there to set up that goal. Jack Randall going to the net front to set up a screen, uh, gets a stick on that, it looks like. Victor Mancini firing a low rocket. When you get that traffic in front, that's exactly what you want in front of a goaltender, and that critically important next goal goes to the Mavs as we have 126 left in the second period. Denver with a 5-2 lead, but this, getting this big crowd back alive. Here it is in the replay. Look at that low drive. There's number two. Find left point now. Drifts to the dot, cross streak, Z Booyam. Rizzo, Booyam, half wall right wing. Pedals back to the blue line, patient here. Here's Rizzo, backdoor feed and a score on the power play. On the four on three, a lot of room out there on the ice, a lot of attack zone time. Denver playing catch with it until finally up at the back door. Carter King was able to punch that in on the forehand to make it a 6-2 lead. Because again, you see all of that open ice and King finding that puck on the doorstep. Rizzo, uh, of course, a candidate for one of the fans, uh, Tom's, or the three stars of the game in advance.